Good morning guys and girls. Um, today we've got a nice, I'm trying to put this as politically correct as possible because these fish actually annoy the hell out of me. <laughs> We're talking about the sand soldier today. Now, often called a red chortor. -chor. That's because the red from the color obviously, chortor -chor from the sound that they actually make. So similar to a grunter, how they grate at the back again. And uh, it makes that sort of grunting sound like <laughs> similar to that. Yeah. Now, the scientific name is uh, Pegalus natalensis. They are words such as scourge, pest, pain, uh, have all been used to describe these species. They are, or the species at least, they are relentless um, pickers. So, if you're fishing offshore or from the shore, often you get areas where you'll throw a bait, like a whole bonnie or whole mackerel or something like that, and you just get grrr, 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 grrr. And two minutes you bring it out and it's just the skeleton left. Often those are actually sand soldiers because they, uh, they're they very good at, at taking bait off oil. Now, in terms of where you're gonna find them from PE North um, and from the shoreline all the way out into the deep, they're quite a prominent species. They, they form a very important prey species for a lot of uh, offshore fish. Your, um, Diet-wise for them is pretty much anything they can get their little teeth onto. They do have sharp little teeth at the bottom and the top. They're not just, not just like that. Uh, top and bottom. It's a reddy sort of color, as we mentioned, white stomach. It almost looks like a small bream that's been extended a little bit. So they've got a slightly elongated body. Uh, normal scaling, the sharp little teeth on the front. And yeah, as we said, they're, they're vicious little predators. So they can tear apart um, a fish bait very, very quickly. Targeting them wise, any sort of small uh, small bait, you sort of looking size, two hooks and down. Um, you don't want to go too small because they'll swallow the whole thing and actually bite you off. But yeah, that sort of size two is probably where I'd be, size two to size fours. Um, you do get them a lot on the bait jigs, sabikis and things like that, the Azuris as well. Uh, so if you're wanting to target them, they're not very difficult to catch. Um, and obviously you can keep yourself busy catching them the whole day. Eating wise, they're very similar to like a pinky and things like that. So if you're looking for something to eat, something small fish like that, I'm sure they'd be 100% for that. I haven't personally tried them, but I've had or been told by people that have eaten them and they've said they, they're not bad. Um, otherwise, they work very well as a bait uh, for rock cod. So if you flap them and drop them down for your bottom baits, or if you use them from the, sand, uh, from the side for most of your flat fish and sometimes for the edibles as well, they will eat them. Yeah. Otherwise, um, I've managed not to not to swear about them for a while, so that, that, that's good. Um, it's all about personal progress. Speaking of which, if you want to progress personally, make sure you like and subscribe uh, down at the bottom, and click the bell icon for notifications so you can get better in your fishing career. So that's about it, guys. The red uh, tortor or the sand soldier. It's a interesting species, uh, very prominent and an important fish in the whole food chain on our coast. Cheers.